Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction as you can tell by the title. It's another Markiplier video and it's another three scary games. Now in the last three scary games it was a pretty lengthy one. The little storyline with Lunky continued. I guess we were sacrificed for him to get his vengeance. I don't know if it's going to be followed up here. But the three games we saw, we saw one, we were being chased by some shape shifting, you know, sh you know, weirdo in the subway. Then we had a choose your little mini, you know, three endings involving cooking noodles. Then the third game was some weird click, you know, point and click choose your own adventure involving a very, you know, uh, <laughs> weird girl named Molly <laughs> doing that most of the time. Involving some sacrifice about the lost his lo the guy's lost brother or something so i have no idea what's going to happen in this so i wonder what three scary games or more we're going to be seeing in this one might as well just get right into it and see what happens so without for the uh, duh, let's react to this video shall we creepy oh this is reminds me of the uh open the door before we begin i would like to ask you a question do you lock the door? <laughs> I locked my door. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I hate that kind. That's the scare, jump scare that Welcome I got from Paranormal Ranger Activity services. that scared the shit out of me. It was in the Martha ones. Stranger? Have you seen Firewatch? Did that yearn to your soul? Did that call to the yearn? Did you yearn? Have you yearned? Why you be yearning? Cut that out, you horny. Oh! Yeah, that early in a video. Lixian, replace that with something I nice. Got you, boss. Spooky mode. You're looking alone in the woods. You hear a noise behind you. The snap of a twig, or the snap of a bone. You hear thunderous footsteps crashing all around you, swirling in the forest, moving through the shadow trees. What is it? What could it be? It's your job to find out you're a forest ranger. Or I'm a forest ranger, or something like that. The Forest Ranger Services series are based on real-life events and personal accounts of hikers. The narrative has been altered for entertainment purposes. There are thousands of missing reports filed each year in the U.S. National Parks. Many cases remain unexplained. Okay, never mind. But I guess we'll never know. You are a wannabe aspiring reporter looking, looking into, missing into missing hiker cases. It was time to get serious about, about your, your career. career. You applied for a job as a forest ranger to get a first-hand account of the disappearances. Oh, God, we're in it. Well, that was sudden and abrupt. Fascinating. Very spooky. So, what happens if I go this way? Oh, wall. Never mind. Didn't want to go that way anyway. Let's go this way. I get Man, slender vibes here I gotta get my eyes this. checked. Seems to be a lot of floaties. I get slender vibes with this. Atmosphere. Forest. Flashlight. Okay. I didn't think that I was going to be real about the thunderous footsteps swirling all around me. Is that a fog? Is that a fog rolling in? Is it like the mist? Oh my god. Like that movie in the mist? Oh Aye. my god, it's a twig! That seems unnormal. This is uncharacteristically spooky. Maybe it's just me. What in the world? Oh, it's a pig, okay. Oh my god! Oh my god. This is why I would never go into the woods without my boar spear. And I bet you were wondering, my boar spear's not in the background. Yes, it is. If you can find I it, see it, that means you survive. If you can't, you're gonna get speared. I kinda see because it. Because let's be perfectly honest, if you're alone in the woods and you got a spear, you don't got nothing to worry about. 
because any other I don't know animal, why he decided you to take that. it out with a spear. And if anyone sees you walking around that with a spear, year, they're not going to mess with you. Because you're the crazy person walking around the in the woods with a spear. crazy motherfucker walking, running in the woods. Or I am, anyway. So next time you're on the trail, pay attention for me stomping around out there. Oh! It's a false alarm. What is happening? I thought it... You know, I signed up to be a forest ranger. I thought that they would have given me some orientation or something. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi there. Scared, Potter. Oh. What? I'm in a car now. What? Hey there, Nightcrawler. You're locked in with Station 5, where uh -huh. the news takes a walk on the uh -huh. wild side. I'm your man in the shadows. <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay. Have you guys heard about these missing hikers? All over our national parks, this is something you hear about anymore. But check out these stats. According uh -huh. to the latest data from the National Park Service, around 1,000 to 2,500 people go missing in national parks and forests each year. Death Valley, Yellowstone, Cascade, uh, all kinds of reports. Death Valley, the Undertaker just puts them in the caskets and buries them. That's what happens. I've got a few examples. Oh, God. One hiker found after days in the woods couldn't recall basic details about their hike or how they got lost. Now, folks, these aren't isolated Wait, incidents. Another displays signs of, of a few uh, paranoia, paranoia claiming they were being watched by unseen entities among the trees. Entities among the trees. Oh god. Interesting. I don't think I was supposed to be able to go this way, or at least I didn't think that I would be able to turn around and actually go. I thought it was gonna invisible wall me. But now that I'm facing this way, I have to pursue the mystery. It's my investigative instincts. My journalistic integrity is telling me to go this way. What was that? What was that? What is? Oh, it's nothing. It's a light. I thought it was something. Ooh, a little bit off road. Okay. Well, this is strange that I'm able to go this way. Oh, fascinating. I didn't think that I would get anywhere. Didn't know gas day gas was oh, ninety eight cents. Me. Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> All right. Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh. Huh. 98 cents a gallon. Wow. Well, we go back to that day, day and age oh, now. Here I am. Quick and go. All right. Um. So what happened to the whole forest rangers thing and the faceless man in the woods? Cause that was concerning. Right, whatever. Hi. Notice it's not VHS filtered anymore. Hello. Notice that. Why is your head backwards? Excuse me. Thank you. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, he looks so sad. Why did I... Do you go up to random strangers and just look at their faces? Strangers? <laughs> yeah, don't do that. They don't like that. Hello. Evening. Jesus. What can I get you? Just grabbing some supplies. I'm a new ranger. I'm a new ranger in the area. Another one, huh? You guys are a dime a dozen. What's that supposed to mean? There's a new guy here just about every other month. Dot, dot, dot. Some people just don't last out in the woods. It can get a bit creepy, you know. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I'm watching you. You're watching me, good god. Is that guy backwards? That guy really looks backwards over there. Oh. Man, he's got pretty eyes. Okay, <laughs> well this was really fun. Why did I come here? Am I am I done now? Do I go home? 
All right, I'm going to my car. Thank you. Did I get supplies? I don't know if I got supplies. Recent reports from research and rescue teams highlight a puzzling trend. A significant number of those who are located after going missing in the wild often exhibit strange mental, mental conditions. conditions. We're talking about disorientation, memory loss, and in some cases, loss. bizarre behavior. In some cases, pop, bizarre behavior. Oh, it loops. Uh, that these rescues and medical professionals got. But some of these disappearances just don't make any sense. You got experienced hikers, uh, forest workers, workers lumberjacks, and even rangers. And even rangers. Just about 5% five percent of those missing people are never found. Are never found. Um, they just go missing without any trace. They search for these people for weeks. And they find absolutely nothing. Now that's a staggering figure. And it's got us wondering what exactly is happening out there in the wilderness. What if I told you there's a secret experiment going on right under our noses? Um, the government, the shadowy figures in black suits. Well, the men in black. Uh, what was that about that? Um, also, wasn't I here before? It's a time loop. I feel that. It's like a time loop or something. This kind of reminds me of the, uh... Um, Who's out there in the woods? Who's out there? Who's there? It kind of reminds me of, uh... Um, so that creepy pasta. The strangest you? security tape I've ever seen, Fine. where the guy, the same guys hide keep coming in a loop. Hide. On security cameras. It's like a gas mm, station. A new place that I've never been before. Nice shadow. Huh. Whoa. I didn't know we turned into a diner. <laughs> Looks like something you're looking for is missing. Uh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> freak, freak. A suitcase with documents about missing people. Yeah, uh huh. Hi again, how are you? Hey, new ranger, huh? They come and go like the wind. Whispering pines play tricks, you'll find. I think I'm lost. Can you help me out with some directions? Lost a hiker recently. Vanished in the woods, swallowed whole. Happens more than you'd ever be told. Uh, uh ooh, okay. I don't know what you're saying, but... I don't like the game that you're playing. Been here a while, seen the faces change. Rangers like you. Rangers their like you. Their stories rearrange. Something in these woods, something strange. I don't like your shoulders. I don't like your shape. I don't like the fact that I can't see your next nape. I want <laughs> to go home. I want to be free. So don't follow me or I'll stuff you in a tree. Good luck, <laughs> Ranger. The, the forest a maze. maze. It knows who stays and who decays. I'll take a candy bar and a hot chocolate and then I'm going to go pray to Saint Nick. Santa Claus. Eat a turd, eat a pineapple, shove it both in your gob. I want to get coffee but i'm not a snob all right we'll see you around gang have a good one of room it's like pt-esque you know the voices in my head are getting louder and tonight they're whispering your names <laughs> <Buckle up. laughs> there's this hiker when the search and rescue teams finally found him, it wasn't me. <laughs> the hiker with maintained dragon had resorted to desperate measures. The evidence of his ordeal was written in the mutilated flesh of his own oh. fingers, chewed and gnawed in desperate bid for sustenance. Wow. <laughs> sucker. He, he ate his own fingers. fingers. You song. notice that his he's going a little mad. That's an odd song. Um, all right. 
Well, that couldn't have been about me. Surely not. Oh, there's a billboard that I've never seen because I've been going to... Uh... Hmm. I don't know what that was. Uh, I sh probably shouldn't park onto the red spot. Who's in the woods looking at me? Oh, I love what you've done with the place. Allow me to spray you with mace. Okay. In shadows deep, where trees entwine. A tree unfolds, a tail alive. A tail alive. Through tangled woods, where whispers soar. Lost our hikers, see no more. I gotta poop. Where's your bathroom? <laughs> and also, <laughs> I don't know, a spittoon. Answer the call on the forest breeze. Each ring, a step closer, unravel the twine. Find the hikers lost, where the, where the shadows, shadows align. align. You know, I don't, it, it's not my gas station. The phone, it does ring. You're the owner, so uh, give it a fling. Well, are you gonna pick it up? Again, like I just said, you own this establishment. It's not my phone. If you betray me, you'll get such a bone. Hello? Who is this? Who is this? I speak in rhymes too. Eh, whatever. Oh, God. I'm awake now. Uh, okay, that was, wow. Hmm. 10 a.m. Looks uh, familiar. Anyone there? What? God, that's pretty. Holy crap! Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> well, this is a nice change of pace. Uh huh. Cozy rustical stove. Okay. My cooler. Live for tomorrow. Hello. I read you. It was very far watch. It was pretty interesting. I had a nightmare. A scary man with no neck. He gave me a scare. That's my dad. Um, shouldn't tell you creepy stories on your first day. Oh, okay, Actually, sure. No. Pretty weird that he heard a story, or the story was pretty weird? Oh. Huh. I was walking my dog Buddy in the forest one evening. I decided to explore a path I didn't know much. Buddy likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in half an hour or so. Suddenly, I had this urge to look at something on the ground. As I crouched down to look at the ground, just out of the corner of my eye. I saw a man in a red sweater standing in front of me. When I looked up at his face to say hello or something like that, he disappeared. I freaked out a little bit and quickly started making my way back home on the same path I got there. I stopped and looked around for Buddy as I turned back to continue home. Right in front of me, there was a severed deer leg neatly placed on the forest path. I have not been down that path since. Did you find Buddy? Oh! Okay then. Thank God we didn't have to see that. I hate it when dogs get killed and for no fucking reason. So th I'm not trying to conjure up a list of insults to say about the game. It was, it was good. It was... I felt like... It didn't have anything that really hooked me. And I'm not talking like a jump scare or anything like that. But it was building up a lot, but it didn't actually stick any sort of mini landing. Because if it's gonna be a pilot, it's gotta have like, I'm not saying it's gotta like a boo, oh, yeah. It didn't feel like it landed somewhere where it could springboard off to something else. That's the only thing I'll say about that. I'm not saying it's bad. Like, all I'll say is like, no, it wasn't. I like it spooky was pretty woods. Good. I like spooky things in the woods. I like that creepy was... dudes at gas stations. I don't like creepy dudes at gas stations, <laughs> but I'm saying like it just needed something to stick the landing a little more. That's all. To get me sprung boarded into the what it would be. But good. 
It was really good. I like the visual style. Moving on. Welcome to Rinse and Repeat. Oh, now different. Where I'm assuming we're going to relive the same moments over and over again, and horrible things are going to happen as we I got do PT, that. I guess. Oh, I am literally rinsing and repeating. Huh. Uh huh. And now I'm naked. Uh huh. I don't need to close the door. Why would I? Why would I do that? <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I also jump in the shower and then turn on the water. Why is there blood on the shower head? Yeah. Very weird, right? This is fine. Okay. Right. Oh, good. Yes. Oh. Flush. Flush. Oh, why would this be the thing? Oh my god. Uh oh. <laughs> I hate this because the thing is like I'm ready to catch something but I don't want to catch something so I. Oh, okay. <laughs> it can't take this long to wash your fucking hair. Unless if you have long, long hair like Bianca. <gasps> ba Whoa. I was just going to say, is if you had long hair like Bianca Belair, then okay, well, I understand. Nothing but... to worry about there because... <laughs> 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 oh, Great! That which I feared has manifested. Did I make that happen because of my paranoia? Did I make that happen? <laughs> I left. Too tired for a shower right now. Oh. Ah. Oh, good. Great. Well, that was what I feared, and, and it did manifest. Oh, 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 wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, stop. Wait, no, hold on, this is poop water, this is poop water, this is poop water, this is poop water. Great job, you flooded the whole house. <laughs> oh, a secret ending. <laughs> I'm naked now, right? So what if... <laughs> Is this a secret ending? Is this a secret ending? <laughs> what you look you left naked. What's wrong with oh, you? You know how it is, you know, you know. Okay, right, there's, so there's three. one other main ending, and I'm guessing it's just like you just take a shower. And finish. what else is there? And man, did I fear that. Getting in. La la li la 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 li li. La 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 li la 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 Oh my lord. I wasn't washing my hair.
I took a shower and nothing bad happened. Oh, good. Huh. Good. Hey! He got all the endings. I see. Rinse and repeat. Very good. I like that a lot. Very fun. Don't close your eyes when you shower. And don't shower with the door open. And don't flush too many times or else you'll die in all kinds of horrible ways. And also, don't be naked ever. Ever. Good game. Huh. Moving on. Welcome to go to, to bed. bed. Did you try to go to bed? I gotta go to bed soon. I don't know if it worked out too well. Maybe it did. Maybe you're already dead. Anyway, situation one. Subject, Subject A. A. That's me. Go to bed. Go to, go to, I, I know. No need to tell me twice. No need to tell me thrice. I'm in bed. Done. Easy. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, listen, you didn't tell me to, you didn't tell me that, yes, absolutely, absolutely, I did. I guess not. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, okay, I see. Ah. Uh, Go to bed. Good. I will. Is there a time limit on this? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I see. Ah, oh. Oh, hello. Okay. Ah, man, now that's a lock. Is there something else I'm supposed to do? I bet. I bet. Eat on. Yeah. You, yeah, that's what I, yep. Turn on the TV as a distraction to make it seem like someone's home. Uh-huh. Well, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, uh, it's like the man in the window. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, let's go to bed. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, oh, did I lock the front door? Oh, you bet your sweet ass I did. Did you? Yeah, you know I did close that window. Yes, I am the home <laughs> security. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hide uh, the knives. Uh. Yeah. It sounded like scissors more than it sounded like a knife. Hi. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay then. So Where am I'm I? here. I'm going to bed. Slam. Mr. Policeman, I'm going to bed. Slam. Mr. Door, I'm going to bed. Bam. Mr. Cabinet, I'm going to bed. Mr. Knives, I'm going to bed. Uh, uh, turn on the gas so I can blow them up home alone style. All right, I don't want to see anything else. Put another picture in the frame to throw them off my scent. Good night, I'm going to bed. Okay. There's no bathroom in this place. That's very strange. It was like a communal bathroom. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, you know I did. You know I did. You bet your sweet ass I did. You think that they would have responded even if they, because it went off. Well done. No one will get in. Well done. No one will get in. I think they did. I'm, I'm pretty sure they did get in. I'm pretty sure getting in is actually what happened. Go to bed. No, I'm not. I'm not going to. I was about to just like go straight to bed again. I wanted a lot of bottles. But okay. All right. Mm-hmm. What is that? What is that? What is that? 
I can't really go to that or to that or like that. Okay, I'm just gonna close the window, arm the system, lock the door, see anything else? hide the knives, make some coffee, put it on the tube. This, uh, this is definitely something I'm missing. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's something additional. What if I just leave the door open? Is that even the thing I could do? Can I, can I do that? Well, I just die. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Ah, we snow. No, 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 no. Is the house secure? The, what? You tell me. <laughs> is that how this movie is? Yes. Are, Are you, you sure? sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> what? Next situation. What? That's it? Why oh, you son of a bitch? How you you messing with me? Huh? Where, oh, where am, I? am I? I don't know where I am. Where are you? What? What do you mean? Was that poop? Oh no. Oh. Uh, well, nothing to do but to go to bed, I guess. Unless. You know what? Nope. I ain't going out there. No, I need to get out of here. Uh, I don't think I do. I want to go to bed. I want to go to bed right now. Uh, I guess this is where the creepy oh aspect comes yeah. oh, in. Whoa. I need to leave now. That's well, a deer. you know, it could just be in a slaughterhouse. And, and not the that Texas horror Chainsaw movie kind of slaughterhouse, you know, I could just be in a... Texas Chainsaw Must Have Massacre? Is a Ooh, is hey, um... Uh, skeleton? Locked, okay, yeah, sure. Darkness. Okay. Wow, it is real. Whoa. That was intentionally set up, but I did not see it straight on, so it did not affect me. Oh, man. Oh, good. Oh, no. Oh, good. That poor bastard. Okay? okay, probably not. Uh, probably, yeah. You're going to get up. I'll... You're going to get up. And uh, you're naked. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, uh, I want to play a game style. What is it? I don't even remember the movie. What would the boy give him? It's Saw. What? Okay. Music stop. That ain't good. So gone. You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. You're never gonna get me. I need to find a way out. I need to find a way out. Did you notice the body was gone when he grabbed the key? Miss Child, I should check for an alarm before trying it. It's armed. Maybe I can cut the wire or something. Why did I have to be so thorough? They put away anything useful. Those bastards, that bastard. There's no way out. Maybe back downstairs. Maybe not. I am already in. Where did you put the knives? Why would I go back downstairs? Why would I go back downstairs? Yeah. If the alarm is active, I could just break through the window because I don't need to worry about... In fact, I'm pretty sure I need the police at this moment. I need them. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> huh. I got the heebie jeebies. I got the goosebumps. I don't know if you can see, but I got the goosebumps. Oh wow. Goosebumps. Look at that. That uh, was spooky. I like that a lot. It's Very going eerie. to bed. Links in the description and it's really GTS. Good. Go to hey. sleep. Oh, can't read that. That's who made it. Pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a valuable lesson today. But don't worry. I'll be watching you. Okay, then. Interesting stuff there.
pretty interesting. So that was the three scary games there in question. So the first game was some Forest Service Ranger. And it was like you're in this PTS kind of thing where it loops. It turns out to be a nightmare. And then and I guess it describes a moment that happens where you and your dog buddy go down this path and the dog is miss then goes missing and you find a severed deer leg and you decide never to go back down there again. Then the second game was something about taking a shower, rinse, repeat, and there's like five endings, three regular endings, two secret endings. One, you just go to bed. Well, well one of them, you flood the the house, and then you take your clothes off and you go back to go outside naked. What's wrong with you? You get killed, and you just take a shower. But first of all, why does it take so long to take a shower to wash your hair? If it was your body, I would understand. But your hair, unless if you have, like, long, flesh flowing hair, then, like, okay, I get it. Then the third game was, like, go to bed. Kind of reminds me of one other game Sean played, I think. The house looked very familiar. It involved, like, closing a window... Locking a door. It kind of reminded me a lot of that. You had to make sure you lock the door. You close the window. You secure the house. You do all that. Pretty interesting stuff. Honestly, I think the first game was probably the best one. The third game was pretty cool too. But the first game overall was really the best one. In my honest opinion. It turns out to be a nightmare too. Like, that whole experience going on, it turns out to be a nightmare. Pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. But anyways, that's really it on this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed. So, pretty much, now we're caught up on all three scary games. We finished the Five Nights at Freddy's series for Help Wanted. Honestly, I don't know what else to react to right now from Mark. Uh... Maybe I could go check out his, you know, Sandbox, Gmod Sandbox series. Because, like, again, I don't think I ever reacted to his Sandbox videos. Except for those handful. Like, the one he did with Sean. And then the one he did with Sean and Felix. But not the ones with, like, Bob or Wade or Yami. So, maybe. I don't know. I gotta make sure I, if I have not seen those. Because if I have, that obviously would definitely fucking be ruined another one i could check out is the lethal company lethal company probably but that could be another time that'll probably be another time let's be honest but anyways that's really it on this reaction uh i hope you guys enjoyed if you did it, the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make quotes Markiplier, Jack Septiguy, and myself. I was an actress of cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, Jared Ilnay6 signing on. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.